270 aphorism organin of medicine 5th edition thus two drops of the fresh vegetable juice mingled with equal parts of alcohol are diluted with 98 drops of alcohol and potentized by means of two succussions whereby the first development of power is formed and this process is repeated through 29 more files each of which is filled three quarters full with 99 drops of alcohol and each succeeding file is to be provided with one drop from the preceding file which has already been shaken twice and is in its turn twice shaken and in the same manner at last the 30th development of power potentized resilient dilution x which is the one most generally used footnote in order to maintain a fixed and measured standard for developing the power of liquid medicines multiplied experience and careful observation have led me to adopt two sections of each file in preference to the greater number formerly employed by which the medicines were too highly potentized there are however homeopathists who carry about with them on their visits to patients the homeopathic medicines in the fluid state and who yet assert that they do not become more highly potentized in the course of time but they thereby show their want of ability to observe correctly i dissolved a grain of soda in half an ounce of water mixed with alcohol in a file which was thereby filled two thirds full and shook this solution continuously for half an hour and this fluid was in potency and energy equal to the 30th development of power section 270 is wholly rewritten in the 6th edition as follows in order to best obtain this development of power a small part of the substance to be dynamized say one grain is triturated for 3 hours with 3 times 100 grain sugar of milk according to the method described below up to the 1 millionth part in powder form for reasons given below one grain of this powder is dissolved in 500 drops of a mixture of one part of alcohol and four parts of distilled water of which one drop is put in a vial to this are added 100 drops of pure alcohol and given 100 strong suctions with the hand against a hard but elastic body this is the medicine in the first degree of dynamization with which small sugar globules may then be moistened and quickly spread on bloating paper to dry and kept in a well corked vial with the sign of 1 degree of potency only one globule of this is taken for further dynamization put in a second new vial with a drop of water in order to dissolve it and then with 100 drops of good alcohol and dynamis in the same way with 100 powerful succussions with this alcoholic medicinal fluid globules are again moistened spread upon bloating paper and dried quickly put into well stoppered vial and protected from heat and sun light and given the sign 2 of the second potency and in this way the process is continued until the 29th is reached then with 100 drops of alcohol by means of 100 succussions an alcoholic medicinal fluid is formed with which the 30th dynamization degree is given to properly moistened and dried sugar globules by means of this manipulation of crude drugs are produced preparations which only in this way reach the full capacity to forcibly influence the suffering parts of the sick organism in this way by means of a similar artificial morbid affection the influence of the natural disease on the life principle present within is neutralized by means of this mechanical procedure provided it is carried out regularly according to the above teaching a change is effected in the given drug which in its crude state shows itself 
only as a material at times as unmedicinal material but by means of such higher and higher dynamization it is changed and subtitled at last into spirit like medicinal power which indeed in itself does not fall within our senses but for which the medicinally prepared globule dry but more so when dissolved in water becomes the carrier and in this condition manifests the healing power of this invisible force in the sick body footnote one third of 100 grains sugar of milk is put in a glazed porcelain mortar the bottom dulled previously by rubbing it with fine moist sand upon this powder is put one grain of the powdered drug to be treated one drug of quicksilver petroleum etc the sugar of milk used for dynamization must be of that special pure quality that is crystallized on strings and comes to us in the shape of long bars for a moment the medicine and powder are mixed with a porcelain spatula and triturated rather strongly 6 to 7 minutes with the pestle rubbed dull then the mass is scraped from the bottom of the mortar and from the pestle for 3 to 4 time minutes in order to make it homogeneous this is followed by triturating it in the same way 6 to 7 minutes without adding anything more and again scraping 3 to 4 minutes from what adhered to the mortar and pestle the second third of the sugar of milk is now added mixed with the spatula and again triturated 6 to 7 minutes followed by the scraping for 3 to 4 minutes and trituration without further addition for 6 to 7 minutes the last third of sugar of milk is then added mixed with the spatula and triturated as before 6 to 7 minutes with most careful scraping together the powder thus prepared is put in a vial well corked protected from direct sunlight to which the name of the substance and the designation of the first product marked 1 by 100 is given in order to raise this product to 1 by 10000 1 grain of the powdered 1 by 100 is mixed with the third part of 100 grains of powdered sugar of milk and then proceed as before but every third must be carefully treated twice thoroughly each time for 6 to 7 minutes and scraped together 3 to 4 minutes before the second and last third of sugar of milk is added after each third the same procedure is taken when all is finished the powder is put in a well corked vial and labeled 1 by 10000 if now one grain of this last powder is taken in the same way the one by 1000000 that is each grain containing 1 by 1000000 the original substance accordingly such a trituration of the 3 degrees requires 6 times 6 to 7 minutes for triturating and 6 times 3 to 4 minutes for scraping thus 1 hour for every degree after 1 hour such trituration of the first degree each grain will contain 1 by 1000 of the second 1 by 100000 and in the third 1 by 1000000 of the drug used these are the 3 degrees of the dry powder trituration which if carried out correctly will effect a good beginning for the dynamization of the medicinal substance 
motor pestle and spatula must be cleaned well before they are used for another medicine washed first with warm water and dried both motor and pestle as well as spatula are then put in a kettle of boiling water for a half an hour precaution might be used to such an extent as to put these utensils on a coal fire exposed to a glowing heat footnote 3 the vial used for potentizing is filled two thirds full. Footnote 4. Perhaps on a leather bound book. Footnote 5. They are prepared under supervision by the confectioner from starch and sugar and the small globules freed from fine dusty parts by passing them through a sieve. Then they are put through a strainer that will permit only. 100 to pass through weighing 1 grain, the most serviceable size for the needs of a homeopathic physician. Footnote 6 A small cylindrical vessel shaped like a thimble made of glass, proselene or silver with a small opening at the bottom in which the globules are put to be medicated. They are moistened with some of the dynamized medicinal alcohol stirred and poured out on bloating paper in order to dry them quickly. Footnote 7 According to first directions, one drop of the liquid of a lower potency was to be taken to 100 drops of alcohol for higher potencies. This proportion of the medicine of attenuation to the medicine that is to be dynamized 100 is to 1 was found altogether too limited to develop thoroughly and to a high degrees the power of the medicine by means of a number of such succussions without specially using great force of which worrisome experiments have convinced me but if only one such globule be taken of which 100 weigh 1 grain and dynamize it with 100 drops of alcohol, the proportion of 1 to 50,000 and even greater will be had for 500 such globules can hardly absorb one drop for their saturation. With this disproportionate higher ratio between medicines and diluting medium, many successive strokes of the vial filled two-thirds with alcohol can produce a much greater development of power but with so small a dilution medium as 100 to 1 of the medicine if many succussions by means of a powerful machine are forced into it medicines are then developed which especially in the higher degrees of dynamization act almost immediately but with furious even dangerous violence especially in weakly patients without having a lasting mild reaction of the vital principle but the method described by me on the contrary produces medicines of highest development of power and mildest action which however if well chosen touches all sufferings parts curatively in very rare cases, almost full recovery of health and with good vital strength and old annoying local trouble continuing undisturbed, it is wholly permitted and even indispensably necessary to administer in increasing doses the homeopathic remedy that has proved itself efficacious but potentized to very high degree by means of many succussions by hand. Such a local disease will often then disappear in a wonderful way. In acute fevers, the small doses of the lowest dynamization degrees of these thus perfected medicinal preparations, even of medicines of long continued action, for instance, belladonna, may be repeated in short intervals in the treatment of chronic diseases. It is best to begin with the lowest degrees of dynamization and, when necessary, advance to higher, even more powerful world mildly acting degrees footnote 8 these assertions will not appear improbable if one considers that by means of this method of dynamization 
the preparations thus produced, I have found, after many laborious experiments and counter experiments, to be the most powerful and at the same time mildest in action, that is, as the most perfected, the material part of the medicine is lessened with each degree of dynamization 50,000 times and yet incredibly increase in power, so that the further dynamization of 125 and 18 ciphers reaches only the third degree of dynamization. The 30th thus progressively prepared would give a fraction almost impossible to be expressed in numbers. It becomes uncommonly evident that the material parts, by means of such dynamization, development of its true inner medicinal essence will ultimately dissolve into its individual spirit-like conceptual essence. In its crude state, therefore, it may be considered to consist really only of this undeveloped conceptual essence.